Hi everyone, my name is Juan Pablo and I'm a graphic designer, artist and photographer. And in this video, we will be talking about the new creation by Lens Baby. One of the greatest things that have happened to me during my career is to become part of the Lens Baby Ambassador program. This opportunity has allowed me to test a new lens. So here it is, and it's called the Obscura. This is an art lens inspired by the camera Obscura. There are two versions of the Obscura. This one, which is the 16mm standalone pancake lens for mirrorless cameras, and there's also a 15mm lens for DSLR that is compatible with the Lens Baby optic swap system. However, since this is the version that I received, I'll be talking about it in this video. This isn't exactly a lens, it's a darkened enclosure with three different apertures that allow the external light to enter into the camera. It will allow us to adjust the aperture that has three different settings. The pinhole, the pinhole sieve, and the zone plate. The first one is the pinhole, and it has an aperture of f90. This setting is a small pinhole, and you may notice that everything is in focus, and it adds a vignette in the corners of the picture. The second one is the pinhole sieve, and it has an aperture of f45. This picture may seem a little blurry, but if we zoom in, we can appreciate that the image is in focus, adding an ethereal look to the edges of the objects. The third one is the zone plate, which has an aperture of f22. This setting is built by many concentric circles, adding to the image a blurry effect. We can also notice that the edges of the pictures are blurry. The first images that I've shot with the Obscura have some dust spots on them. This happens because we're shooting at really small apertures. To avoid so, we need to clean our sensor before shooting. If we're going to clean it at home, we can use an air pump and a lens pin. We can also take it to a local camera store for a deeper cleaning. For shooting, we need to mount the Obscura in our cameras. Then, we will see that the Obscura doesn't have any focus ring, but we're shooting with small apertures. We will have pretty much everything in focus without the need of adjusting it. Then, we need to adjust the exposure. To do so, let's start adjusting the aperture in the setting we need. With smaller apertures, less light will enter into the camera, so we need to compensate by decreasing the shutter speed or increasing the ISO. We can mount the camera in a tripod and do a long exposure for still objects. We can also shoot without a tripod, holding the camera with both hands, but we will need to increase the ISO and the noise will appear in our picture. This also happens in the situations that our subject can't be still. Something that I've noticed is that we can double the image when adjusting the aperture between two of the settings. This way we can have a ghosty image that has a vintage and mysterious appearance. With a little bit of post-processing we can enhance our pictures giving them a professional look. What I loved about the Obscura is the 16mm wide-angle lens, because it allows me to improve the composition in architecture and landscapes. I have also used the Obscura for still objects and portraits, and the results have pleased me a lot, because they remind me of how pictures look back in the 19th century, but using a digital camera. I have found that the Obscura is perfect for photographers that want to see the world in a different way. So here it is, the Lens Baby Obscura. Have fun with it and shoot extraordinary with Lens Baby.